Welcome to Small Business Hacks. Bureaucracy. This ugly enterprise goblin that appears when managers are thirsty for information. In their hunger to check business numbers, they do not realize the damage from excessive control and reporting. Even worse, they do not see the burden that elaborating so many reports put on their teams. Bureaucracy kills business, but still, managers tolerate or even create bureaucracy in their businesses. These people are running on a command and control thinking. The opposite from the command and control thinking are the systems thinking. Systems thinking focuses on systems to improve business output instead of infinite controls and reports. The difference between the two mindsets can be summarized in some examples. Perspective in command and control thinking. Top down, based on orders. Perspective in systems thinking. Outside in, based on systems. Design in command and control thinking, based on functionalities and features. Design in systems thinking, based on customer demand and value. Decision making in command and control thinking, made without suggestions from the com customer facing employees. Decision making systems thinking, integrated with work done to maximize the performance of the customer facing employees in their delivery. Attitude to customers in command and control thinking, based on what is determined by contracts. Attitude to customers in systems thinking, based on what matters for the customers and for the company. Role of management in command and control thinking, to manage people and budgets. Role of management in systems thinking, manage systems operated and improved by people. Change in command and control thinking, reactive based on projects. Changing systems thinking, adaptive and integral to the business. Motivation in command and control thinking, extrinsic. Motivation in systems thinking, intrinsic. And how can you implement systems thinking? The first step is to improve or even create your own systems. Improvement comes from design against demand. The author John Seddon gives a good example. In a certain place, the maintenance staff have their performance measured by how fast they arrive at the site and how many problems they find, but not by problem fixed. Soon, maintenance people game at the process and it started to arrive fast, to have good indicators, report multiple problems, but not solving anything. Why should they solve anything if the indicator was how fast they arrive and how many problems they report? The lesson here is simple. Don't train your employees only what you think they should do, but also in what the customers want them to do. The only way to do that is to invest in your systems. That is the role of a manager and of an entrepreneur. Create systems. Selection systems, hiring systems, training systems, knowledge replication systems. Often talents underperform because of failure in your systems, not on themselves. There is a book that I recommend for any entrepreneur wanting to improve his systems. It's called Freedom from Command and Control, Rethinking Management for Lean Service by John Seddon. It helped me to tackle increasing bureaucracy in my business and also taught me another valuable lesson. Ask questions. For example, do you like this video? If yes, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe and activate the notifications for the next ones. Now back to our subject. Ask questions when facing a problem. Does my staff know what is expected and what good looks like? If the answer is no, you have a systems problem, not a people problem. Do the performance indicators demonstrate where the individual should improve? If the answer is no, you have a systems problem, not a people problem. Are there adequate quites to exemplary performance? Are they simple? If the answer is no, you have a systems problem, not a people problem. Do the worst performers know everything the best performers know? If the answer is no, you have a systems problem, not a people problem. Most of the time, the problem is not your people, but your systems. And you just don't know it because you're not asking the correct questions. Thanks for watching.